In the last video, we were introduced to the number n, choose r, also called the binomial coefficient, that counts the number of r element subsets from a universe of n elements. And this subset interpretation is going to be really important in unlocking the power of these numbers. First of all, we've got a recurrence relation on the binomial coefficients. As long as r is between 1 and n minus 1 inclusive, we can rewrite n choose r as n minus 1 choose r minus 1 plus n minus 1 choose r. I'm not going to do a full proof of this here, but here's an example that should give you the right idea. 5 choose 3 is equal to 4 choose 2 plus 4 choose 3. Remember that 5 choose 3 counts the number of 3 element subsets of the set A, B, C, D, E. I'm going to enumerate those subsets and lay them out in a certain way and see if you can figure out what the pattern is. We've got A, B, E, A, C, E, a, D, E, B, C, E, B, D, E, and C, D, E. We've also got A, B, C, A, B, D, A, C, D, and B, C, D. 5 choose 3 is equal to 10, 4 choose 2 is equal to 6, and 4 choose 3 is equal to 4. Go ahead and write those out on paper just to make sure that you can make those calculations yourself. The 4 choose 2 comes from the fact that we chose two elements from the four element set A, B, C, D, and then appended an E to each one of those subsets, giving us six subsets that way. Then there are four ways to choose three elements from A, B, C, D. And if we take all of those subsets together, we get the 10 three element subsets of A, B, C, D, E. That recurrence relation gives rise to a handy visual called the binomial triangle. First of all, observe that n choose 0 and n choose n are both equal to 1. We're going to draw a triangle where Vertically, n starts at 0 and works its way down. Horizontally, r is going to start at 0 and tick all the way up to whatever n is. So the very tip of the triangle is 0 choose 0, which is 1. The next level is 1 choose 0, which is 1, and 1 choose 1, which is 1. In fact, the edges and tip of the triangle are always going to be 1s. The recurrence relation we just established tells us what the interior numbers should be. We are going to add the two numbers above it. So since 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 choose 1 is 2. Since 1 plus 2 is 3, 3 choose 1 and 3 choose 2 are both going to be 3. 4 choose 1 is 4, 4 choose 2 is 6. 4 choose 3 is 4. Maybe you remember these numbers from appearing in the last video. 5 choose 1 is 5. 5 choose 2 is 10. 5 choose 3 is 10, as we just saw. 5 choose 4 is 5. And we could draw this triangle as far down as we want. 